And thanks for staying with us uh, here on the AM show. Time now to talk about the Ghana Garden and Flower Show, uh, which was initiated by Strategic Communications Africa Limited, uh, Stratcom Africa, in 2013. Uh, through the show um, and the movement, Stratcom Africa seeks to uh, you know, uh, facilitate change uh, and in behavior amongst Ghanaians in relation to uh, the environmental sustainability issues by creating awareness about the need uh, to harness the nation's flora and fauna uh, for national development. Guess who's joining us this morning? Sharon Eni, Marketing Communications Manager, Stratcom Africa. It's such a delight uh, to have you join us uh, this morning. Uh, you're looking flowery actually <laughs> so uh, let's get to it and, and that's why many of us are excited about this uh, and i understand it's not the first time actually we've been doing this for the past 11 years why yes um as you mentioned earlier stratum africa is a total marketing communication agency and the ghana garden and flower movement which is the initiative which was started 13 years ago has a flagship event the ghana garden and flower show and it's an annual event that allows us at Stratcom Africa to use our communication expertise to create awareness by promoting the horticulture and floriculture of Ghana and to also use it to sustain our environment, which is very, very important to us as an organization. Um, how many people will this event attract and will this be open to the general public? Yes, this event is open to the general public. Um, when we started, actually when we started the initiative in 2013, we had about 1,400 people. And just last year, we were able to grow to as much as 28,000 people. And this year, we are looking forward to attracting many, many more people. And we would say that interest in the show is growing. We have more people paying attention to the messages we are trying to put out there yeah. when it comes to promoting our floriculture. Yeah, and, and I mean, it's fair to say that, yes, if it's about sustainability, uh, it's yeah. a good conversation to have. But how about the individual level? What's the benefit to the individual uh, if I get to be a part of this? Um, yes. Flora show. Yes. Um, so the great thing about Ghana Garden and Flower Show is that there has been global conversations about environmental sustainability, climate change and everything. But this show is actually a practical solution mm. where individuals can take the action, come to the show, buy a plant, buy a flower, learn about the different species of plants, mm. learn about how to care for these plants. We have various workshops and master classes that educate people on planting, on gardening. So when you come as an individual, you will benefit from all these things and you'll be able to contribute to fighting climate change. I'm sure that there are some people watching us now, um, operating eco-conscious yeah. groups, some yeah. from civil society, yeah. some who have even yeah. uh, gardens that, to, yeah. I mean, for themselves. Yeah. How can they be a part of it, uh, either by doing the exhibitions themselves? Yes, for the exhibitions, you can call us to book a stand. You mm -hmm. can visit any of our social media pages or our websites and send us a message and via email as well to book a stand to join us. And also for individuals, you can just walk in. It's a free event. Okay. You can just walk into the Ifwa Sutherland Park from the 30th of August to 3rd of September. It's a five-day exhibition and we have so many fun-packed activities. So you can just join us or give us a call and we will definitely give you a place or make you a part of the show. Mm. Uh, and for persons who may want to spend some family time there, yes. is that possible? Yes, it's possible. The great thing is that actually on Saturday we have a family fun day. So the whole day there will be games and fun. Then in the evening we have a drama night, a play by Latif Abu Bakar, Thank God for Idiots. And then even on Friday, we have a music night where people can have fun. We have youth conferences and we have so many fun activities for children mm. as well. So this yes. is looking like a whole yes. festival yes, al it already. Is, it is. Uh, but, but as we look um, forward um, to the event itself, what would you want our viewers to know as to why they should be a, a part of this and why the Ghana Garden and Flower Show is so important? to our national development. Yes, um, so I'd like to say that the theme for this year is Green Fusion, Collaborating for Climate Action. Mm. Um, we are aware of the harmful effects of climate change. We are seeing it every day. We have very extreme weathers, and some places have very extremely cold weathers. And it is very important for us to be a part because we are mobilizing individuals to take action for climate change. And we are encouraging everybody to be a part of it. And we are encouraging you all to take the bold step to own a plant, plant, conserve our environment, protect 
the environment. Mm. Yes, so we are encouraging all of you to be a part and, of it. And speaking about the, the green agenda, yeah. will, will you be distributing some seedlings or maybe, but how's it going to go like all people would have to buy actually? Yes, we have exhibitors and this is one thing that our platform has been for to help grow businesses in the floriculture mm. and provide job opportunities as well as income generation and for economic development in the entire nation. So everybody coming in is also contributing to the growth of the industry mm by patronizing these individual businesses that we have on board so that you also patronize them to grow the country economically. Then you also play your part in helping to fight climate change and conserve our environment. Wondering what's your favorite flower? <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, my favorite flower is actually Sansevieria oh. and it's actually a very good air purifying plant and I actually like it very much. Okay, <laughs> you choose yours when you come to the fair and, and we'll see you uh, there again, I believe. Yeah. Any, any final words as yes. we wrap up the show? Yes, quickly before I go, I'd like to acknowledge our sponsors and partners who have been very generous to us and helped us organize the show. I'd like to, allow me to read them out, I'd like to acknowledge Stambik Bank, Molders Group, Alla Foods, Interplus, Republic Bank, Veritas Capital, um, Ghana, in Interbank Payment Settlement System, GIPS, UMB Bank, Hollard Insurance, Eurocare, Gokals, Voltec, Polytank, and to Ewa Foundation, and most importantly, WFP, World Food Program. Yeah. We are very yeah. grateful to all Indeed. our sponsors. We are grateful to yes. all these people and to you, Sharon, for joining yes. us this morning. Yes. We're yes. looking yes. forward to the Ghana Garden and Flower Show. Yes. You need to be there uh, uh, for Sutherland Park. For Sutherland Children's Once Park more. from Wednesday, yeah. 30th of August. So mm. tomorrow we have our grand opening. Right. And we are going to be there until Sunday, the 3rd of September, which we will, climb, will climax yes. with the Israeli Green Innovation mm. and, and I hope that's not too late for anyone to, to no. still join you. No, can, it's not too yeah. late. You could be a part of that yes. and make sure that you reach out to Sharon and her team. They'll yes. definitely help you yes. out. We'll be back. Okay.